Hi, I am Dr. Julie Brown, your character trained concussion doctor, board certified chiropractic neurologist, and fellow in traumatic brain injury and rehabilitation. It is almost spring here. In fact, we spring our hours for it this weekend, but it's almost spring and pollen, histamines start reacting in people. I just want to talk about antihistamines. Um, I can't prescribe. I can't prescribe these things and nor do I want to. Many of them, a histamine, um, it's a complex and a, real, a reaction and one of the things that it does is it wakes us up. It actually makes it hard to fall asleep. So if you have, you know, if pollen's everywhere and you're reacting to it, it may be harder for you to sleep at night just because we've now raised cortisol and we're awake. So the goal would really to be to break down those histamines to a more functional level to where they're not making your brain awake. My uh, reason for this video is regarding antihistamines. Many of them, and I would just do a Google search and or talk to your doctor about it um, or your pharmacist, many of them are anticholinergic. That means that their mechanism is that they go up and they dock at the end of a neuron that uses choline as a receptor. And many of our learning and memory neurons require choline. So if you're taking um, antihistamines that are anticholinergic, you're actually blocking your ability to remember things. Imagine if you're a student trying to study for a test or um, you have to memorize something for your job and you're taking these things, it is making your, heart, your job that much harder. Plus, it is not actually breaking down the histamines and correcting the problem. There are other approaches to it and you can have different genes, different exposures that create these cycles for histamine and how they need to be broken down can be different for everybody. So um, make sure you talk to your doc doctor about your concerns and honestly hop on Google for that. N not for all of it, but just to get an idea to be able to have the conversation with your doctor. If you'd like to know more about our office, website below. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click here.